farming MGP is not one of the fastest things in Final Fantasy XIV, and you have to work towards this on a small, daily, and weekly scale in order to get some of these more expensive MGP mounts. Or to have enough for the Final Fantasy XV collaboration event that comes around every few years. My name is Bunboss, and this is your ultimate MGP farming guide. Firstly, when doing anything in the Gold Saucer, you either want your free company buff of plus 10% more MGP when participating in Gold Saucer events, or the Squadron VIP card, which will increase it by 15%. There is a super rare buff hitting that like button. By doing that, your luck stat will increase by 100%. Once you have that, you're ready to farm. Let's talk about one-off MGP rewards. When playing the game, you'll get triple triad cards that can be turned into MGP if you already have it. Playing the game regularly, you'll get quite a few of these through dungeons and trials, and some of these can net you anywhere from 300 to 1500 for just one card as you get later in the game. Your daily acquisition of MGP can be done from the daily CAC pot, which will cost you 10 MGP with the chance of winning 10,000. There is a trick here to guarantee that you get 10,000 if 10,000 shows up, which is the Y method. You essentially create a Y when choosing numbers and you'll always show enough of the card to determine the winning spot for the 10k. If and only if it happens to be on the card. The sequence you are looking for is 1, 2, 3. If you can determine the sequence is not on the card, then you can go for the 987, which is the second highest reward. Our weekly MGP farming is going to take form of the challenge log. If you want to be more active, you can fill out the challenge log each reset, which will net you a pretty hefty amount of MGP per participating in various activities of the gold saucer. This includes triple triad card game, the minion mini game, Lord Vermillion, participating in gates, which happen every 20 minutes earth time, or even chocobo racing that can be pretty entertaining to play. You can sometimes catch me doing chocobo races and various other activities on my weekly streams on Twitch, so come by and hang out. Once you had your fill of the challenge log and my shameless self-promotion, we can move on to our weekly fashion report, which I think is very misunderstood and missed by many players since this is by far the easiest 60,000 MGP you can get weekly. If you are part of any Final Fantasy Discord, preferably mine, which you can find in the description box down below, and navigate to our Final Fantasy XIV in-game alerts, you will see this amazing infograph that gets released each week, which shows you the absolute easiest way to obtain the 60k. This week happens to be a goblin cap obtained by achievement vendor in Gridania, Rip Viera not being able to show it, any dialable piece for hand, legs, and feet, dyed ash gray, mud green, and bark brown respectively. And it's simply that easy. If you haven't gotten the easy 100 points, which gives you the fashion leader title, I encourage all the players to do that at least once since it's a free achievement. It might take you a little bit longer and just a little bit more effort in order to achieve that, but you only have to do it once, so it is worth it. The infograph will have everything you need and comes out each Friday for that week, to which you have until Tuesday to turn in and a new theme is announced. Once you fill out your easy slots for 60k, you will get judged, get your rewards, and then simply use your glamour plate to overwrite any dies you have done. Our next weekly farm is the Jumbo Cackpot, which you can purchase up to 3 tickets and choose random numbers and hope for the best. I personally have never won first, but even the next few places down can net you quite a bit of MGP for rewards. This is by far the easiest and most brain dead way in order to get MGP and you should not miss it. They pull for winners every Saturday. We move on to our next MGP weekly activity, which is the Wondrous Tales. When completing the Wondrous Tales and obtaining lines, you'll notice that you'll get a varying amount of MGP cards for completing these. You'll most likely hit at least one line and unfrequently two lines, which can net you 30,000 MGP or 100,000 MGP respectively, or the very rare three lines, which would be a million MGP. Likely though, if you've never hit three lines before, you may want to get the other rewards first if you happen to get it since they're really cool rare mounts. This doesn't include the occasional Rain On Me events where MGP rewards are increased by 50% and Moogle Tombstone events where you can purchase MGP cards for tombstones. But looking at it top view down, there's actually quite a few ways to farm MGP in the game with varying different effort levels. Which leads us to my lazy personal method for farming MGP as efficiently as I can muster. I personally do fashion report every week, selling triple triad cards for easy pickups, daily cack pot for a possible 10k a few times a week, and the jumbo cack pot. I do this all on Saturday each week in order to pull for the jumbo cack pot, sell my cars, and turn in the fashion report with the MGP buff on. This method alone has given me enough to buy all the glam I want and start working towards those more expensive mount and items. 
Your guaranteed 66K a week from Fashion Report and Buff would net you 1.5 million in about 26 weeks, which would get you the majority of those lower cost items. This is not including your weekly challenge logs, which can net you anywhere from 55,000 MGP to 79,000 on top of that. Now that you have a grasp on how important consistency is for MGP growth, and hopefully you can make this a part of your weekly habit so you can easily rack up that MGP. I hope this video has helped you learn all about the MGP farming and rewards in Final Fantasy XIV. Limit breaking that like and subscribe button is a free way to help support this channel's content. And a huge thank you to my Patreon, Discord, and YouTube monthly bun subs as your donations keep this channel running. You can join me on stream, which we do maps, do endgame rating, and everything in between. Or if you want to watch more Final Fantasy XIV guide content, then you can click here.